Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. Do you know what type of corporate structure is best for your medical practice? From s core and c core to LLCs, deciding how to structure your business is no small task. The right choice will provide substantial tax benefits and protect you from certain liabilities, while the wrong choice could result in higher taxes and responsibilities you don't want. Here are the benefits and drawbacks of each type of medical business structure. A sole proprietorship is an unincorporated entity that is cheap and easy to start with. However, this business structure provides next to no protection in terms of liability. A general partnership is also easy to set up, but both partners can be held liable regardless of who's at fault. A limited liability partnership protects your personal assets from your partner's mistakes, but your business is still at risk if you get sued. A C-Corporation lets shareholders buy stock in your practice, but any profits gained from shares are taxed twice by the government. The profits generated by an S-Corporation aren't double taxed, but you're not allowed to write off the full amount of any benefits you provide to your employees. LLCs offer the protection of a corporation with the tax benefits of a sole proprietorship. However, most tax attorneys recommend medical practices operate as S-Corporations, which have a better proven track record of liability protection. Every corporate structure has benefits and drawbacks. Only you can decide which structure is right for your medical practice. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. Today, more healthcare practitioners than ever before are working as employees in a hospital setting. Working in a hospital provides a lot of benefits that cannot be found in private practice. Salaries are virtually guaranteed. Physicians are not responsible for daily operations, administrative tasks, billing, or human resources. Incomes can be significantly higher than what you might make in private practice. So why doesn't everyone work in a hospital setting? because private practice has its advantages too. Policies are set by you, not your employer. Your income is based on how hard you work, not on what someone else decides to pay you. You're not measured or judged by hospital metrics and you don't have to worry about constantly changing hospital technologies. Keep in mind that a bigger, steadier paycheck comes with sacrifices just as the freedom of private practices comes with its own set of challenges. Only you can decide which type of practice is right for you. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. Deciding whether you'll go into private practice or group practice is one of the most important decisions you'll make for your new healthcare business. Both choices offer advantages and disadvantages and only you will know which type of practice is right for you as a practitioner. Entering into private practice gives you total control, both as a healthcare practitioner and a business owner. A doctor in private practice requires less administrative and clinical staff than they might in a group practice setting and therefore has fewer employees to manage. But many private practice professionals work long hours taking care of paperwork and other business related tasks. They are more susceptible to economic changes because they have fewer patients and their overhead costs are often higher than those found in group practices. A group practice setting offers less control and flexibility, but makes up for that with lower overhead, shared financial risk, and a better work-life balance. While the majority of healthcare professionals operate as part of a group practice, only you can decide what's right for you. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. One of the biggest questions you have to answer when starting your medical career is, where do I want to practice medicine? Many established medical professionals own their own practices or practice medicine in a doctor-owned group setting. But more and more recent med school graduates are opting to work in a hospital setting. Which is right for you? Working in a hospital offers, 
the security of a steady salary, freedom from administrative and billing headaches, more lifestyle flexibility and a better work-life balance. But group practice has its benefits too. By being part of a doctor-owned group practice, you'll retain much more control over the direction of the business. You'll also avoid bureaucratic hospital policies and requirements, split overhead costs with your fellow physicians, share patients and clients with your partners, ensuring a steady flow of business for everyone. If you want to practice medicine without the pressures of running a business, a hospital setting may be right for you. If you prefer the freedom, control, and flexibility of a group practice, it may be time to start your own or to join an already established doctor-owned practice. Remember, only you can decide what's right for you. To learn more about medical billing, insurance, coding, outsourcing, and everything you need to establish a successful healthcare practice, follow all of Sherlock Doc's adventures on the doctorsbusinessnetwork.com or Doctors Business Channel on YouTube.